Hi, welcome to the Cure Expert Connection for Oncology. I'm Dr. Carl De Silva. I'm a medical oncologist and hematologist and a medical director for the Leahy Cancer Center at Peabody, Massachusetts. Hi, Steve. Hey, welcome to the meeting. Thank you. So can you share us the story about your diagnosis of renal cell cancer? Absolutely. January 13th, uh, 2018, I was w working in Boston and I was up on a lift and I went right to my knees in pain. And uh, the pain was in the back. And I said to my partner, I said, uh, Mac, I'm not doing too good. And he was like, what's going on? And I said, I got a pain in my back. He said, it feels like uh, what my buddy always talked about when he had kidney stones. And he said, uh, geez, Steve, come on down. Why don't you take a break? So I took a break. I went out back of the, the job site and I laid down and I started drinking water. <clears throat> and uh, after like 20 minutes, I went to the bathroom and I urinated uh, straight red. So I went out front and I said, uh, I got to go to the hospital. And my buddy... He said he knew somebody at Burlington Leahy Clinic. And he said, Steve, they're the best kidney people. And I said, oh, I'll try there. Because here I was in Boston. I figured I'd go to Mass General maybe. And he was like, no, go to, go to Leahy Clinic in Burlington. So I went to Leahy Clinic and uh, got admitted right away. When I told them what was going on, they brought me right in and uh, started blood tests right away. And they had a CAT scan done. And within a couple hours, my... Um, team of doctors came in and told me what the diagnosis was. Wow, that's a very uh, impressive story. So you presented with some blood in the urine, so you had back pain and you hardly could even walk down the, uh, the lift, wow. So, so then when they told you about your diagnosis that uh, there was a mass in the uh, belly, so what uh, was your decision at that time? Uh, right away at first, uh, Dr. Zaid, who ran the team, is the one that approached me and said that there was a mass in my kidney. And uh, he said it was stage four renal cell carcinoma. And uh, believe it or not, uh, you know me now after a yeah. year, and so you know what I'm like. Uh, I didn't even blink right away. I put my hand up and I just said, wait a second. And I thought about what it meant to me. And uh, I've come to believe over the last 20 years that any physical injury manifests from the spiritual world. So uh, I know a lot of people don't believe in that, but I figured that the bloodstream represents the flow of life and the kidneys being a part of that and filtering out the blood flow uh, meant that I was possibly neglecting my flow of life. And that's exactly what went through my mind as, as, as right after he told me. So once I figured out why it manifested physically like that from the spiritual world, I, um, I looked at him and I basically, I really smiled. And I said, I said, all right, I understand. I got it. What can we do? What's wow. next? So Steve basically uh, represented uh, one of the standard presentation of uh, stage four renal cell cancer. And the tests which were done on him were basically, uh, he came to the emergency room, he presented with flank pain, hematuria, and uh, they, the first thing which we do is doing an imaging studies of the abdomen and the pelvis, and, uh, and you see a huge mass there. And that's how we were able to come to a diagnosis of a renal cell cancer. So NCCN guidelines, which we use today, called the National Comprehensive Cancer Network Guidelines, you know, you use those guidelines to uh, put the patient whether they are in the good risk, intermediate risk, or the high risk. And this criteria have been devised because of the uh, uh, presence of uh, new novel therapies which have been used in the treatment of renal cell cancer. Uh, 